So when you want to repair the gut, and we're going to really work, arthritis is, you have to start and then finish what you start. This is not an overnight repair process. They, it took a long time for your patient to get here, and it's going to take time for them to really recover. And so it's a step two, a two-step process. Step one is what I call the therapeutic phase. And this is where you're going to treat dysbiosis. So you're going to use herbs like berberine and uva ursi and black walnut and let me think, and oregano. And sort of I like to use broad spectrum herbs and different combinations. And, it's, and for healing the gut, one to two months of, of treating dysbiosis. You're going to use probiotics. You, uh, I recommend using, I use probiotics. So it's, it's herbs to treat the dysbiosis. It's probiotics. It's glutamine powder for healing the leaky gut. And it's digestive enzymes. And you do this very sort of aggressive. And I will sort of say that, you know, how I talked about the fixer, right, at the beginning. This is where you get to jump in and be a little bit of a fixer, right? So you actually can put on your fixer hat and give them a prescription. So you're gonna help do that therapeutic, intensive gut repair phase. And that's really important as you get started. During that phase, you're also gonna clean up all their exposures and the damaging behavior, right? So um, help them eat organic and get and no alcohol for the time being, you know, things that are gonna have ongoing damage. But then you must help your patients finish what they started. Because repairing the gut ecosystem is about environment it's long term and the number one most thing the number one most important thing that influences the environment of the gut is the food you're eating and so you must teach your people patients how to eat and you must teach them about stress so let's first talk about food so what's the best food plan for for healing arthritis the research is very very clear they looked at every kind of food plan and it's been really well studied and well looked at and Hands down, the number one food plan is a Mediterranean diet.